garlic aioli mayo. Very simple to make. You've got a few minutes, put it together, but get it in the fridge so it can have time. We're gonna start with some mayo. So we need about three quarters of a cup of mayo. So to me, I'm gonna say that's about three tablespoons. Next, I always use fresh lemon juice. I, there's rarely, rarely a day that I don't have that. I'm gonna do two and a half tablespoons, which is roughly an eighth of a cup plus a little bit. Be careful on your salt. Uh, because it's a very small dish here, I'm using literally a pinch of salt. And this is experience. I've made this years past. Too much salt throws the entire flavor off and then you're adding more mayo, you're adding more lemon juice, you're trying to play catch up, not good. So I actually took what I had in there and I divided in half because there should really be no more than about a half a teaspoon. So that, 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 over the shoulders. Boom, pepper. How spicy do you like it? I'm just giving this a splash. Not too big, okay. Not three cloves of garlic. Now, if you're pressed for time, <laughs> you're pressed with garlic, you can always use uh, the pre-minced stuff, but I like as fresh as possible. Take your cloves and just give them a good smash down there. Separate the peels, any shell. It's very easy to dice these up, it goes quick. And I'd rather fresh. Feed is secondary. So I'm learning more as I go here as I'm filming to not look up because I have a tendency to want to look up at the camera. And that's, see, just what I'm doing right there, don't do that when you're at home. Focus on your knife. Now, I thankfully my knife skills are, see how my fingers are already curled in? Middle finger, not the middle finger, but it's like, like the knuckle. That's what we want to be aware of when we're chopping. So, so I'm just going to finish this up. Garlic as fine as possible. I'm looking up again, but you notice I'm looking up because I changed my hand. That's the only safe way right now that I can think of to look at the camera and try and chop and dice. I'm not gonna go traditional style on here. This to me is the, the safest way right now so I can look up at you. I can actually see it in the camera as I'm doing this. I could also use a food processor if I wanted to, but I'm old school traditionalist like that. Bring back the rest, get our garlic added in. So you can imagine with three cloves of garlic. How great this is gonna taste, but it's gonna sit with you for a little bit too. Okay, so let's mix this guy up. Be careful not to lose any of our lemon juice. When I got caught having only a spoon at my station, but I like mixing this better with a fork. This is gonna taste delicious. And now I've got this, it'll be setting in the fridge for about 30 minutes, but it's gonna be there for the next week or 10 days, so if I do have people over and they want some garlic I holy mayo with whatever I might be making, we already got this prepared. So simple, fast, easy, takes you about five minutes. There you have it, our garlic aioli mayo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Boom.